In this class, we are going to learn in detail how to expose your existing procedure package or function which is making use of in-out parameters that is with the data type based on some table object type. If you see over here in my one of the procedure within this package is making use of this table object type that is a custom type which I have created in my database. Now, if you want to expose this package over a ORDS REST API, usually the preferred method is we have to write the in out parameter something with JSON array T or JSON object T, which we had studied in our earlier classes. Now, suppose if you cannot rewrite every procedure or the function which is available in your project, but rather if you want to expose your existing package procedures as is without rewriting, then we will see how to do the same in this class. So this is the object which I have created and it is storing employee ID name and the salary. I am having the employee table in which I am trying to store the details whatever is available in this type. Someone calls the procedure with those details then I am iterating over each and every record in that table type object and then I am inserting the record. So this is the context behind this object. Next I am creating a type which is a table type based on this object. So these are the couple of things. If you see over here my table structure. I'm having three columns, employee ID, name and the salary. For this demonstration, I have considered the type that is the custom type for the in parameter, but for the out also you can have the similar use case. Then in the body, I'm just iterating over this type and inserting the records into the employee table. So this is the context in case of error, I'm sending the error and the description. Now coming to the ORDS part, we have to first of all enable the REST services or the ORDS for the schema that is the admin schema in which I'm having all the packages and the procedures. Then I'm defining the module. So this is my module and the base path. Then coming to the template, I'm having a dummy template over here, which is slash data after this. Coming to the module handler. Now I'm here defining the method as post and then the block is PLSQL block. Coming to the source, the main thing is transforming the data from the JSON object that is coming in the request body to the type that is a custom type in the procedure. Here if you see I have considered the first statement as input JSON and then we are just converting the payload whatever we get in the request that is colon body to a JSON object T. Even if you don't transform that is fine you can just straight away assign this colon body to the input JSON over here. Then what I am doing is I am just converting this to a string that is if you see L JSON is nothing but it is a clog in order to store the string data. Next what I am doing is I am selecting that is bulk collect into this input type. So input type is nothing but it is my custom type which is similar to what I have in this package body. This should be matching with the type what we have over here. Input type is similar to the in parameter which is available for our procedure that is the in parameter. So I am just selecting this object type that is just converting this details whatever is available in the JSON to this object and then I am just putting that into the input type. Here I'm making use of this JSON table and then I'm passing the clock that is the input JSON payload whatever we get what I've converted to a string into a L JSON variable that I'm assigning over here and then I'm just iterating like dollar dot items. I will tell you how my request looks like. If you see over here a request will look something like this. It will have a JSON object then it is having an item then it is having an array. So I have written this condition that is dollar dot items then star. And within that, I'm just referring $.mpyd, whatever we have, mpyd name and the salary. So like this, I'm iterating one by one and putting the details into this input type. And then at the time of calling our package, that is a procedure, I'm just mapping this input type, the in data, in data is nothing but it is our in parameter over here, if you see in data, then out status and the description are nothing but the status and the description which will return back when we make a call to this procedure. So that's it. This is the main transformation which you have to do. Convert to a string that is the input JSON. Then we have to convert it into a type and then that we have to pass over here in calling the procedure. Now let's test this ORDS REST API with the help of Postman. If you see over here, this is my template and this is the module that is the handler over here. Now I will just update some random details 129, uh, 130 Raj. 30 and the name is also as 31 here if you want we can enter the salary as 3290 we can send if we click on send i'm getting the status as success and the description this is from the plsql procedure what i have over here in the body if you see success and the 
successful message that we get in case of error if i again try to insert i'm getting that unique constant violated because this employee id is a unique value in our database table now if i have to show you in the table whether the details got inserted or not let me just write over here select star from employee table and execute sorry i have to write in the SQL worksheet let me just execute this so our details are over here 129 and 130 rash 31 and rash 30 whose salaries are 3290 so like this we can expose our existing plsql procedures and the functions without rewriting from scratch suppose in your project or the maintenance project what you are working on it is having a bulk of procedures which has been written previously and you don't have to rewrite every procedure with the json object t -A -A -T using those types and you already have some custom types and you want to expose as is then this is the best method in order to expose the existing procedures over a ORDS REST API that is without rewriting the code just you have to work on the transformation before calling the procedure over here